today is your one month anniversary yeah of your work yes So tell us the story of your roka and uh, the storm it created in New York. Okay, so I was dating somebody and uh, like uh, in New York only. So the things got distorted because uh, I said no because my family did not agree for him. Why did they not agree? Because of the caste issues. That's the main issue that is actually prevalent in India and in our family as well. Yeah, so. uh we were dating and uh, it was just 4 uh, to 5 months of relationship and uh, he actually wanted to marry me i was also into him even i uh, like i proposed uh, his offer in front of my family as well to get married huh. but my family like my father did not agree to kya wo mile the ki mila nahi 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 they did not meet him ek bar maine bola उन्होंने नहीं माना दो बार तीन बार लाइक दे डिड नॉट अग्री देन एट द एंड दे जस्ट टोल्ड मी दैट इफ यू रियली वांट टू गेट मैरिड टू हिम देन जस्ट फॉर गेट अस यू जस्ट डू वट एवर यू वांट टू डू एंड जस्ट फॉर गेट अस सो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आफ्टर लिस्निंग टू दैट स्टेटमेंट आई जस्ट लॉस्ट एवरीथिंग आई वॉज लाइक ओके वेर एवल दे विल से आई विल मैरी बिकॉज for my for me my family is the top most priority i am not sort of that of a person ki no because they have grown me up right i am this big i am like i'm educated i whatever i am today is just because of my family they have lived up to me right and i cannot just leave them behind that one guy for me uh, we are very closely knitted actually like all my father's side of the family my paternal maternal both the families are very closely knitted and i do not really wanted to break them apart because of this one single gesture right i know love is sort of a very pure thing right but like love towards my family is also very pure right that is the most purest form that i can say like father and mother are जो मतलब इंडिया में बोला जाता है दे आर ट्रीटेड एज गॉड एंड आई हैव ऑलवेज ट्रीटेड देम एज गॉड एंड फॉर मी माय पेरेंट्स माय फादर इज माय आइडल लाइक आई कैन नॉट सी एनीथिंग गोइंग अगेंस्ट हिम ओके इट कैन बी अगेंस्ट माय विश बट कैन एनीथिंग कैन नॉट बी अगेंस्ट हिज विशेस आई एम स्केर्ड ऑफ हिम बट वेन आई एम राइट then i'm very confident in front of him as well that yes i'm right i have siblings and i have younger siblings so i have to set an example for them as well you know like what my what my mother has always told me that a girl is either a maker or a breaker of a family like a girl is something that's the most manipulative character in a family frankly aaj wo do jano mein ladai bhi karwa sakti hai aur matlab everything can be sorted as well so i have actually inculcated these values from my mother so these values have always been a very you know like an integral part of me i have always i'm the eldest of my whole family the eldest so like mere chote bhai ben i am an admiration to them right they admire me they always look up to me that what i have done they want ki theek hai they should also follow my footsteps and i do not want it to land up into that situation wherein i am actually destroying and breaking hearts of 50 people just to uh, live me like because i wanted to stay happy with that guy so what if after marriage my parents would have never agreed or never accepted and obviously that wo jo ek ek rehta hai na that that thing is very you know breaking heart breaking and everything yeah बट ऐसा होता क्या अगर थोड़ा सा सिचुएशन अलग होती या बंदा कोई और होता तो इफ ही वुड हैव ओनली रीजन वॉज द कास्ट फ्रेंकली एंड आई वुड नॉट डिनाई इट बट दैट इज द थिंकिंग ऑफ माई फैमिली एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड की नाउ फैमिली आर बींग वेरी मॉडेस्ट दे आर बींग मॉडर्न दे एक्सेप्ट चेंजेस बट दे एक्सेप्ट ग्रेजुअल चेंजेस दे कैन नॉट जस्ट ओके now ab hamari ladki gurgaon mein reh rahi hai so we will do whatever she wants so that is not something what i was taught i have been to bangalore i have lived in bangalore for one year i have always lived away from my family but i know my limits i know my bounds where i have to stop and where not i think what is quite striking to me about you is that you are very conscious of what these bounds and limits are yes. and you respect them yes so what are these bounds koi aapko ye paper pen lekin my parents never wrote things for me they have always left it on me that if you want to go anywhere you are the one who knows whether it is right or wrong 
whether your family will actually like it or not. And my limits and bounds are like, mere le, meri family is super, kuch nahi hai. nothing. Neither my job, neither my career, neither me, neither, nothing. I'm just doing it because of them. Because whatever I'm today is because of them. That is how I am, actually. You won't believe, like, in today's generation, uh, kids of class 6, class five, 7, they're going to watch movies. I went to watch first movie with my friends when I was in college first year. And just because I went to Bangalore and then I had no other option. So I had to go out with my friends. I got mobile phone when I landed up in college. So these limits were set not by writing or maybe, but by what I have seen like around me. Even today I have my habit, whenever I move out, whenever I go out, even for a dinner, I always inform my parents that I have to go. And they have never stopped me from going anywhere. Because that is the trust that I've gained because I've been living outside, right? Or uh, then I go for trips. I have been to many trips with my family, with my friends, with uh, my colleagues. So they have never stopped me from going anywhere. And this is something that I've actually, if, agar main, if I would have done such things, so they would have never accepted it, right? But you know, do you think that these limits are also set a little differently for Gharki daughters and Gharki sons? Like, is it different? Yes, yes, it is different. It is, of course, it is different. Because obviously, like, uh, it's, uh, it's a bitter truth of India that patriarchal society is always ruling. And obviously, men are men and women are always, uh, you know. And, you know, people say equality and all these things. And I'm, I myself being a lawyer, so I believe in the concept, but somewhere girl is always left behind and I this is a bitter, bitter truth and I accept that if we are walking on the road we have to be cautious about our walking our talking our dressing we cannot be like okay he should do that he should consider that no because at the end you are a girl you will be pointed out why were you walking why were you roaming around lately right so this is the mentality of the people but now that you've been roka hired, you also have like new sense of responsibilities towards your in-laws and your husband. Yes. So say yeah, nahi hai ki parents ke saamne sharam ya dar, but you also have now a new set of elders. Exactly. Will you talk about this? That this new sense of responsibility that you're feeling as you're entering a new world. Yeah, new because role. see, uh, see, in India, arranged marriage is a very you know very different concept wherein parents are always in that fear ki kuch zada baat mat karo, you don't meet often, you should not do this, you should not do that because unko dar right? Arrange marriages. Love marriage mein to shayad aisa koi issue nahi hota hai because the guy and the girl they know each other bahut pehle se. So this is the basic fear. So I myself like I am conscious about these things because obviously if I'm roaming around and the world is round, you can meet anybody at any place. If I'm found smoking, drinking, partying at 12 or 1 at the night, so that won't reflect my personality when I when I'm actually not that way. Right? I come back home by 8, but if once in a blue moon I'm partying outside and someone sees me, so I will have no answer. Like, what will I do? And secondly, it's somewhere related to my family values again. That I'm, I'm staying outside. And I'm not going to be able to do what I'm doing. But Angel, you were saying that Roka Bokar, Rishta Tutnika Dar Reta. So then, like, when you're out, are you scared that it will just reflect poorly on your parents or is this fear that you can break the relationship? Yes, the relationship can break the relationship. Though my fiancé is very supportive, like, I'm very open to him. I, whenever I go out, I tell him. And he has that much guts wherein he can tell it to his fam tell it to his family as well. That she has told me and she has the right to move out, right? But I cannot stop the mouth of every person roaming around, right? I can only tell it to him, his parents, nothing like the way like we have, he also has a very big fat joint family like mine. If I cannot stop my father's brother, like my chachu uncle and all those people to stop. So how can I stop his family? They don't know me, how I am, how not. So these are something, these values are obviously not told or not inculcated properly, but this is a sense of responsibility that you develop when you actually enter into these new ventures. Mm. Venture. Yeah. yeah, actually it's a venture. So <laughs> when you signed up for this venture, what were you looking for? Because you said that you had to decide that the whole thing was going to happen. So what did you want to do in the world? What did you see? And uh, what are your... 
एक्सपेक्टेशंस नाउ इन अरेंज मैरिज देखो सी देयर इज नो लिस्ट थी लाइक चेकलिस्ट सी चेकलिस्ट या व्हाट इज द चेकलिस्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक आई ऑलवेज वांटेड दैट द गाय शुड नॉट बी टू एल्डर टू मी जस्ट वन ईयर और टू इयर्स देन आई ऑलवेज वांटेड दैट द गाय शुड बी दैट ही शुड अलाउ मी टू वर्क इट शुड बी माय चॉइस whether i want to work or not so that was there okay then he he himself is a very jolly sort of a person he himself very open minded party karna enjoy karna friend circle ko samajhna even if i have please i do not have girls like i have male friends i do not have female friends like very few so he understands that and i met him at least thrice or four times approximately before reaching on to the decision that yes i want to get roka fight with him and obviously first impression is the last impression of every person today 10 years of relationship also end up right so these things are very you know it's like a gamble you just play it either you win it or you lose it the bus that is it so yeah. i just looked these checklists these pointers and i just said yes nothing else yeah but you said which i i like you said that you've told him up front about your previous relationships yes. and he's cool with it yes the major reason why i told him because there are see now in today's world there are a lot of mutuals that can happen so i thought ki if agar usko kahi aur se pata chalega so that would really be very like heartbreaking on or he might not like it right so i was very clear upon it like i told him about all my past relationships about this man as well um, like my we work guy i told him about this as well because i never wanted any issue to be created in future what if this man is ki buddhi san again what if he comes and he's like no i want to marry her only so i will be the one who will be actually cursed at that time no so i was very like even he told me about his relationships so that made me more confident i should also tell him about things because we are from actually we are like our house is 2 kilometers away so we have lot many mutual friends and a lot of rumors that can actually happen so these are the things that needs to be taken care of and these are the you know like shaadi ka laddu i would say jo kahe wo pachta hai jo na kahe wo hi pachta hai so yeah matlab now i don't feel like talking to anybody you know like either i talk to him or i'm alone or i'm very handful of people with whom i really want to stay or i want to share my things now um, like after roka i myself has seen a change a drastic change in myself i'm sort of very extrovert personality i used to go and say hi to every second person i see like if you remember right but now i hesitate in talking to people i don't know why i won't say that it's taking away my personality but i guess it's that consciousness in me now maybe with time it might get faded away but yes it somehow hampers things also each is or i remember you were sharing that he's also very matlab uh, he's also very strong in jab jab un ha ya na bolte his yes and no is very strong yeah to wo lucky ekdam matlab fir wo hilta nahi hai so is yes. that something that you're learning to uh, respect or matlab is that something adaptability is something that is very important right in every relationship be it friendship be it anything so i am a very adaptable person like that's my personality i'm like water in like in every vessel i'll take the shape i'm like that so if he has upfrontly told me something that i really don't want this to happen so definitely i'll adapt it anyways he just don't want me to stay out after 10 pm that's sensible as well obviously and i myself do not want to okay i'm not dying if i'll not go out after 10 right so these are some things that needs to be taken care of and it's not only me who's actually struggling he might also be struggling right he is also entering into a new thing i might also have some of my own uh, insecurities jo he might also have to face like sometimes it's not necessary that you always have to give an answer to the other person sometimes silence means everything you can be quiet as well otherwise no relationship will survive like everybody has their own self esteem self respect sab kuch hai sabka right but somewhere i suppose i think in everything not even in not only in marriage but in friendship also one person has to be quiet hmm. at a point of time to actually continue that friendship to sustain that friendship because otherwise you'll end up just fighting in gurgaon generally i think that um, families are quite modern 
because of the culture but the place from where i belong there the culture is still not very developed there are no bars there are just family restaurants where in gurgaon there are all restro bars so drinking is a very common habit here like a father and a son sitting together and drinking right but where in gaziabad this is a very strange this is a big thing obviously my parents know that these things happen but they would not allow us to do that with them obviously there is a there is a difference between respect and dar ek ek hota hai ki aap sharam mein koi cheez nahi kar rahe ho aur ek hota hai aap dar mein koi cheez nahi kar rahe ho so i guess this is a level this is a line that you should always maintain between your parents and you yourself this is what i personally believe there is this thing yeah that's how what that is what i believe actually yeah. that is what i believe some people think that i'm a psycho and i talk senseless but i think i'm very sensible enough in actually getting on to these conclusions mm-hmm. because i've lived in two different areas i've lived in greater noida i've lived in bangalore where people are actually very open minded and greater noida which is actually a very place jahan pe like at night you cannot walk alone so i have seen such uh, instances in my college in my school at my workplace at different places mm-hmm. so this is the thing that i have developed in myself yeah mm-hmm. you have like you carry your own personality that is the only thing yeah one final question then ki jab abhi shaadi ke baad you move to gaziabad yes theek hai and you will leave gurgaon to gurgaon wali aashi उंडर बट हाँ गुड़गांव में ऑब्वियसली इट्स 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 अ लिटल बिट ऑफ फ्रीडम नो बडी इज एक्चुअली वॉचिंग मी वॉट आई एम डूइंग हम टॉकिंग हम वॉकिंग हम ईटिंग नथिंग बट ये ऑब्वियसली इन गाजियाबाद आई एम बिट कॉन्शियस बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज चेंजेस दैट आर ग्रेजुअली हैपनिंग इन माई लाइफ येस बट एनी वेज आई डोंट थिंक इट विल मेक अ ड्रास्टिक चेंज बिकॉज माई इफ यू ऑनसे टच वर्ड इज वेरी नाइस या इज वेरी सपोर्टिव इन ऑल माई रॉन्ग डीड्स एज वेल इज लाइक यू शुड इन्जॉय गो डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू so yeah like i'm actually blessed